Hello students and welcome to day 21 of the Who's Your One Challenge. Our topic for today, love God, love people. This word love brings many different ideals, I think, to us. But when we're talking about this kind of love, it means, well, let's read the Bible verses and maybe you can gather some thoughts and get some context around it. So we're in Matthew chapter 22, verses 32 through 40. So I'm going to go ahead and read and then we'll get into it. I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. He is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And when the crowds heard this, they were astonished at his teaching. When the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they came together and, an, and one of them, an expert in the law, asked a question to test him. Teacher, which command is in the law is the greatest. He said to them, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and most important command. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets depend on these two commands. So if you were to ask what is Christianity all about? It would be summed up in those two, in those few verses, those two commands. Now, Jesus explained that all the laws and all the prophets, whatever they taught, hung on those two commands. Because think about it, if you love someone, are you going to want to do harm to them? Absolutely not. You're not going to want to hurt them. You're not going to want to murder them, obviously. Could you imagine wanting to do good for everyone? I know it gets complicated and it gets hard and it gets frustrated, especially when people aren't nice to you. But if we love God more than anything or anyone and we put him first, we really can't we really can love others as we love ourselves. You see, in 1 John 4, 7, it says, Dear friends, let us love one another because love is from God and everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. On the other hand, if you have a hard time getting along with people and showing love to them, then you got to check your love for God because here's what it says in uh, 1 John 4.20 If anyone says I love God and yet hates his brother or sister he is a liar for the person who does not love his brother or sister whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen I know that for some of us it's hard to fathom that kind of love where you give it all to him all to a god who you may truly not recognize the importance of him because you can't see him but ladies and gentlemen i'm going to ask you to think and to pray and to just keep believing and knowing that he is who he says he is that he's a a father who loves you more than anyone could and that gives us a reason to love him with all our heart soul and mind and when we do that you'll find it's easier to love others much easier so today our prayer is about loving others from our overflow of the love that we have from God so I'll pray and then I hope you'll pray with me and I'll give you your action for today. God, I pray that you will give us an overflowing love for you and help us then to out of that overflow to love others. 
we will be effective at sharing Jesus and loving others when we do it out of our overflow of love for you, Lord. And we know that you love us. We may not have it here in our mind, but it is in our spirit. So I help you. I pray that you will help those of us who struggle with that understanding. Give us wisdom and discernment to understand it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Your assignment for today. Make a list of people in your life who love God and love you well. You have been blessed. I know some of you will think, I haven't been blessed, but I bet you think about it a little while. You can think of someone who has been special in your life, who has given you a hand, who has given you a hug when you need it, who has given you food when you need it, who has taken care of you when you need it. Make a list of them and then be a blessing to that one in a way that will show them the heart of God. I know you're up for the challenge. I have faith in you. I love you guys and I'll talk to you tomorrow.